home uh, this collapsed from in one year from forty dollars to six dollars uh, and it started trading in 2016 uh, at fifteen dollars so it went from 15 to 40 uh, in 16 17 18 in two years and then in one year it collapsed but uh, but what I found interesting immediately is that revenue continues to go up and I learned from the great Peter Lynch that if revenues continue to go up of a company then the value of its stock will also go up because that's the challenge eh? um, um, to see your company grow over time and of course you're always gonna have a piece of that will be profit and that may be booked as profit or not uh, 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 good companies actually don't book many profits but they do reinvest in expansion and that shows in continued growth in revenue and the compound annual growth rate has been 23 percent since 2014 of the revenues that's impressive and also this first quarter of 2019 this is for the whole year 2019 that's uh, based on the guidance that they shared uh, in the financial statements of quarter one uh, but uh, but uh, also in quarter one revenues continue to go up we're about 18 percent um and, uh, and 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 thing that's impressive that you continue to grow your, your revenues very well this is a retailer uh, um a little bit like ikea uh, and uh, uh but a, a much bigger one it's quite impressive if you see the youtube videos uh, at home shopping uh, uh, you can just shop with me at home shopping uh, you see these videos and, and and the assortment the variety and choices that they have is unbelievable uh, like it's a very very big stores uh, that uh, offer you like i don't know how many hundred options of of, of lights hundred options of 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 kitchen uh, shares hundred options of of um, uh, just a, a very very big uh, variety of uh, choice um, impressive uh, and prices are, are, are um, sometimes cheap, sometimes on the high end. It's a bit mixed. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, um, they've expanded uh, to about 200 shops uh, from about 50 shops or so. Before they were another chain, they, they rebranded um, and um, uh, they, 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 every, every year they open about 20% more uh, stores 10 to 20 percent and um and and they have about 200 stores as of today um but yeah uh, what happened here like how can it be that a stock collapses so much um so the story is that in a quarter one was very bad but it was bad for all the other ones too uh retailers um uh, a part of it is that um, in quarter one the, the weather was bad uh, so for these uh, brick and mortar retailers uh, people don't come out when it's too cold or too warm uh, they prefer to shop online but, but when the weather is good uh, they will go out shopping so that's a uh, first thing uh, and of course if the weather is bad then uh, you have a lot more uh, discounts and a lot more competition between the retailers so margins are less something else that played with home uh, uh, so the, the big the big uh, problem here is that profits are down and and also for the guidance of 2019 the whole year they expect profits to be down compared to 2018 um uh, net income uh, and, and 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 that's very bad because the revenue in the meantime did go up uh, again with 20 percent how is it possible that you make a rest less profits if revenues are again up with 20%. But so for the first quarter, uh, bad weather was a cause, but also um, uh, 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 there are structural changes in the market because of the tariffs. Uh, uh, Trump has a trade war. First it was 10%, now it's 25% uh, import tariffs on many goods from China. Uh, and, and, and that hits uh, retailers hard because they don't can't increase their prices. Uh, with 25% uh, charge customers those tariffs. So they take uh, the beating on that and uh, and that lowers 
their profit margins. And for example, uh, gross profit went down to 29% from um, before it was 33, 32 from, from the revenue. Huh? Uh, so they, they used to make like 33%, 32%. Uh, of revenue would be gross profit, but now it was only, and for this year, they expect to be, it to be only 29%. And this probably is for good, like uh, these import tariffs won't uh, change much. And uh, But of course, over time, probably they will increase their prices eh, or shop elsewhere. And, and they also talk about that they try to source their products more from other countries also. Uh, so over time, I do think that this... Um, gross profit margin will be repaired huh? uh, but for now not and for this year not and if you look at uh, uh, net income that's usually also like a percentage of gross profit after you did all expenses you have the net income and usually you have about 10 percent net income of uh, the gross profit huh? uh and, and and right now they expect this to be 11 percent. but last year it was very good at 13 percent mm -hmm. but that won't be the case this year um uh, but that does mean that um uh, actually net income has gone down compared to last year it will go down uh very likely not only in quarter one but for the, la the rest of the year it will be lower uh, at the end of the year than at the end of 2018. Um, there's something else that also weighs on the gross profits here, and that is that they opened a second distribution center because there are now 200 shops. So they, 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 they opened another distribution center and that also comes with uh, uh, expenses and uh, extra expenses uh, that were not there before. Um, but I, that's not structural. That's, of course, a good thing for the long term. Um, but... Um, the amount of shares uh, has gone down actually it used to go up but it has gone down that's a good sign and uh, it means that they are buying back shares at cheap prices that's a good policy uh the end result is that earnings per share for this year are expected to be around uh, 0 0.70 a little bit less than last year but more than before huh? so they are growing like shareholders make more and more money over time even though that will not be the case this year 2019 per share you make the same amount or a little bit less than last year but you can't expect growth every year like growth goes in bumps and boosts and and, so, and like here too like yes it went sideways growth uh, earnings per share for two years but then you have a big bump eh? i expect this to happen also in the future yes it goes sideways now for two years but probably next year it will be a big bump and you will make more per share um but what are the valuations now when it drops to six dollars well the market cap has dropped from like two billion it used to be even almost three billion to um uh, to now 300 uh, million could buy 10 eh? almost could buy eight from the peak um as a result uh, pe ratio has dropped to nine it used to be 60 even 70 80 uh, at the peak pe ratio of a fast growing company that does happen that you have high PE ratios, uh, which it is uh, uh, a retail growing at 23% uh, per year uh, is, uh, is a very, um, is, a, is a fast growing company, uh, especially if you look at net income uh, after a gross profits, uh, net income has grown a lot, uh, an average of like 100% or so, okay, it comes from nothing, but uh respect very respectable they are expanding in a market that's very different uh, difficult many retailers have gone broke uh, they expand every year with 10 uh, 20 percent in extra stores that means that they're doing something very right in a market that's so difficult where most uh, are actually going broke so um uh, but um so, so, so it dropped to a PE ratio of, of nine, which is very good. And a price to sales ratio, uh, if you compare how much they sell to the value of the company, it's only 0 0.3. Uh, it used to be like one or two or one. Huh? Um, so so the, the valuations are cheap today. Um, if you look at S&P 500, for example, uh, PE ratios historically, 
if you have it, it does happen that you have low PE ratios, but it's rare. It's maybe every 30 years or so that you have a low PE ratio. Usually PE ratio are like 20, 30. Uh, sometimes it drops to 10, but that means stocks are cheap. And that's true here too. And this shows this stock is cheap. Um, uh, so I, I think it's clear from these numbers that the market is severely overreacting. Um, like we're not talking about a company that's booking a loss here. Huh? No, the story is that, hey, it only made the same profit as last year huh? while revenues are up. Uh, 20%, it only made the same profit as last year or a little bit less. And oh boy, is that bad news to sell off this company to the floor. Like that's not such bad news if you have the same profits as last year when you have suddenly like import tariffs that are jacked up from 10 to 25% when you're investing in serious expansion here. Uh, not only do they invest in another 10% more stores, like another 20 more stores, huge stores opening. Uh, but, but of course, that was the case last year too. But in this case, they, they open a second distribution center. That also, uh, of course, uh, is investment in the future. So, oh, uh, the same net income or a little bit less than last year is not uh, like this is not a story where, oh my God, is another retailer going broke? No, it's just like a sideways uh, movement of, uh, of, of net income. And for that, they dropped the price to $6. Huh? Like that, that's, that's ridiculous. Huh? So um, there is a market hysteria going on and a great opportunity. Let's look ahead. What is the opportunity? What is the potential of the stock? Um, uh, so this was past growth. For future growth, I deducted 25%. So let's say that revenues don't go up with 23%, but they only go up with 18%, which will be the case case in 2019. Let's assume it's also the case in the future. And that is, of course, I mean, uh, a big assumption uh, because actually the past performance have been a lot higher. Eh? So assuming it's only going to be the same as this more difficult year of 2019 uh, for the next five years is a low ball target, in my opinion. The same with gross profits. It used to be like almost 25 percent. Uh, we're dropping this to 18 percent for the future. Uh, in growth huh, of 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 of, uh, of of gross profits, huh? um, and um, for net income, I just took the same uh, like it, it's it's eleven ten eleven. I just took the average here of the last uh, years here, and it's eleven percent per year from gross profit net income. Let's keep that the same um, uh, for next five years. Uh, see where we get. Uh, also, uh, shares here have been growing at 8% the amount of shares in circulation, uh, but of course that will go down over time, um, uh, 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 usually. Uh, for example, this year it actually really went down, uh, but the growth should go down over time in amount of extra shares that are issued. Uh, in an early startup company, you have more issuance of shares uh, than in a later stage when it's more grown. So I dropped this from 8% more shares per year to 6% more shares per year, and it gives us amount of shares in five years of 90 million instead of 60 million today. And then um, the end result is that, okay, the earnings per share will go up like this. Uh, this is a modest estimate, I think. Huh? If you see that the earnings per share uh, go up like a lot more here in the early days, uh, it might continue to go up at the same rate, but it doesn't. Eh? So it, it does go up, but not so much. Uh, but if we look at like, what is the potential of these share valuations? Uh, we see that um, uh, the growth rate I took here uh, is the, um, is the, one moment. Yeah, so, so, so I, I did an estimate, what can be the valuation of this company in the future based on price sales ratios? Uh, if you look in the past, price sales ratios have been between one and two. Uh, and so the, the amount of revenue compared to the value of the company, here uh, the value of the company is double as much as the amount of revenue, uh, but here it's about the same. Uh, so that's one, that's two. Um, what we see now is much cheaper the company than the amount of sales. Uh, but 
it's likely that we will go back to these kind of valuations in the future huh? uh, when the when the when the when the when the panic uh, is out of the market and people have renewed uh, trust in retailers the brick and mortar retailers we will get to normal valuations again uh, and let's say that we do reach this kind of high of two by the end in, in five years that's an assumption that's the potential i'm talking about the potential here not about what's going to happen but what's the potential for it to happen a reasonable potential estimates if in the past it has been at such evaluation it can be in the future also huh? uh, so at two times earnings earnings will continue to grow very likely huh? uh, considering their business model has proven in the past to work and so it likely will continue to work in the future uh, and um, and that means that uh, revenues are likely to go up to 2.6 billion in five years so double from here uh, that means that if at the time it's like valued as in the past again at a high relatively high valuation of two times earnings that means the value of the company goes up for to five billion from the current 400 million so that's a 10x of course the amount of shares goes up also but uh, it's actually more than a 10x so share value value per share can do a 10x that's the potential here huh? and of course you don't go there in one way it's step by step first you have a recovery huh? uh, i think that's the potential here that it does recover to more fair valuations and so that by next year we're double uh, the the value of today and so you can make 100 percent in a year um, and that's still relatively cheaply valued then. Um, uh, but then you start with like fair valuation here, huh? uh, one uh, price to sales ratio and a P ratio that is like average to the stock market valuations of today, like 25 PE ratio or so. Uh, then you're at fair valuation, you make another 50% huh? uh, the next year. So over time, yeah, uh, in five years, the potential is to do a 10x uh, with, a, with a, a simple retailer. Um, so I think that's a great uh, potential. And uh, it's not like uh, pipe dreams, uh, uh, like this is quite uh, likely to happen. Like it's already included, uh, the bad news here. Uh, 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 this has already damped, damp, dampened revenues growth a lot. Uh, it's included, it's, it's likely, it is, this is the potential, but it's a modest estimate because it may well be that we see rev I, revenue pick up again huh? uh, in the future. Uh, and it doesn't stay at this lower rate. Huh? Same for, uh, yeah, so that's the story. Oh, uh, I will uh, share the link in the description below to the sheet. So you can just copy the sheet and play with the numbers yourself. Um, like the ones that are bright yellow, is what you can immediately change. Uh, so you can, for example, say, let's say it goes back to 20% revenue growth. It's a little bit higher estimate, but you can see that it does affect everything. Uh, um, uh, price of the stock, potential of the stock is to go up another 10% more. Uh, also, I forgot to say, but PE ratios here, uh, the potential is that it goes back to like 50, which is a high PE ratio. Huh? Uh, but this also happened in the past. Huh? It has been higher even than this. Huh? So, so, so um, yes, this is a high valuation for the company, but that's the point of investing. You buy something that's relatively low valued and you sell it when it's relatively high valued. Oh, there's one problem with this stock. Uh, that is that, uh, for example, Interactive Brokers does not allow to, do, to buy this on margin. Um, the initial margin is 100%. And that's a real pity, of course. Um, that means that you really do need the money to buy this stock. You can't buy anything more than the money that you have in your brokerage account. That's bad news, but it's also good news. Like, that's typical. When, 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 when stocks go down a lot, suddenly, like, brokers don't want to give any margin on it. They won't, don't want to take any chances on it. They're afraid to lose money on this. Uh, are afraid their customers will lose money and they don't offer any uh, margin loans in order to buy this. But that's also another typical indicator that you're uh, close to the bottom, probably. 
I made some other videos, one before, uh, check it out, uh, of uh, home. Uh, but also another one I found about the CEO, the founder, that gives a speech about uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, also worth uh, taking a look because, of course, you're investing in, in the people that run it. And I uh, was very impressed. Seems to be an ethical, uh, experienced, um, uh, wise man uh, that's running this company. So um, that's great to see also. I will also put in the link below in the description.